I don't want to watch the chef show anymore. I knew what I was cooking for. I know what this means. I know what's at stake. And I believe you. Literally every time someone leaves, I cry. <laughs> or when, or when they get a really good compliment on their food, and they seem so shocked. Like, don't do that. Listen how she says, guys. What's going on? They're gonna get me, look. <laughs> Star of the show today. I don't know if you guys have seen yourselves, but I've seen a lot of, a lot of PR teams saying that this, instead of a beauty sponge, I have mine right here, will blend out your makeup a lot better. It'll give you more of a flawless finish. We'll see about that. I think I tried this a long time ago and I don't remember if I liked it, so we'll do it again today. Now I know I was waving around that pink Huda one, but in case I don't like it, I'm just gonna use this standard one from Amazon. Cause I don't wanna mess up my Huda one getting like foundation stuck in it. I'm just gonna use this standard black sponge. We're gonna try it. I wanna try a new foundation today just for the hell of it. I wanna just try some new things while we're at it. But if you guys think that maybe makes the review weird, let me know if you want me to try the same exact thing with my own routine. Okay, this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I'm in shade 5.5 tan. Now they sent this to me, so I have no idea if this is gonna match. Um, It's really not looking like it will, so we're gonna make it match. I don't need to Sorry, I have to film on a device right next to y'all, so it's kind of hard to fit you both. Now I don't play about a color match, so I'm gonna get out my tools. These are the tools I use. These are the tool, oh, these are the tools that I use to get the best shade match I can. I'm gonna start with the foundation as the base. MAC Studio Fix Concealer. So sorry if I seem awkward, I'm trying to fit in both frames. Here's where we're at so far. That's the foundation, that's the concealer. This foundation seems really warm, so I'm gonna neutralize it. And I actually don't know if I need to lighten it. I'm gonna take my little spatula and just use that to blend. I'm looking in the mirror so y'all can see at the same time. See how it's immediately lifting all of the warm tones out? I might have neutralized it too much. I need to add more foundation. I added some more foundation to warm it back up just because I neutralized it a little too much. I think that that wand is good for avoiding waste. However, it is irritating when you want a lot of product. Now that looks like a good shade match. Now I'm gonna take the sponge. Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how she holds up concealing. I don't know, it feels like it kind of picks up a lot of product, but I think it's confusing me because it doesn't look like on the sponge. There's a lot of product on the puff, but it feels like it is taking a lot of product with it. Like It feels like it's soaking up my concealer right now. I don't know if I guess that's like the worst thing, but that's just what I'm feeling like right now. Hmm, thinking many thoughts. Just for the hell of it, I want to try using it for all of my liquid products and seeing this is my bronzer. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that that's telling me what it needs to tell me because this bronzer usually spreads out quite excessively and now I feel like I it kind of dissipated a lot of it. I feel like maybe I would utilize this on very natural days when I really want my makeup to just go on very lightly. But that's about it because it looks good. It's just very faint. I think it just picks up a lot of product. Oh, I put way too much on this side. Next, I'm gonna use my Pink Velvet Creme Shop Blush. She kind of eats. It kind of just melts. When I first put it on, I remember being like, oof. And I just melted in. Forgot to use the sponge for the blush. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder in shade two. That's my shade. I fear that's the best shade. I meant powder. I fear that's the best powder. That and the one size powder are the best powders to me. Like they really created something that I feel like I haven't experienced with setting powder in a long time or pressed powder. Remember when you're using pressed powders? Mine is broken, so it just fell in my lap. What you're gonna do is press it, pat it and flatten it out. Then apply the leftover. There, if you have any prominent creases before you set, I recommend blending those out before you set. You can set and sometimes just subside them, but I think it just looks better if you just blend them out first. Like that's a B. Then I take the one size press powder, shade medium five, do the same thing. Cutie. I'm cuter than you though. I've been, I just tried this out for the first time the other day. This is the Huda Easy Bake. This is the Huda Easy Bake and Snatch Press Powder in the shade Blondie. I did the unboxing for this the other day on TikTok, but I think I'm gonna bring the unboxings to YouTube instead. I'm gonna do the same thing, just to brighten up. 
because my one size powder is a bit too dark for me, but I, I'm, I refuse to not use it. <laughs> I just want to brighten that up a little bit. I'm going to do the same exact thing with my one size setting powder. I'm almost out. Flatten on your hand. Press it in. Flatten on your hand. Flatten on your hand. Every time. Okay, I'm, now I'm going to finish everything and I'll be back. Sony, I'm begging you right now, move that slow motion button. But anyway, I don't have an overhead. Like, you know, up here there's usually a light. Yeah, the, the only light I have in here is this. Can't get with that. So I bought one, and I bought one for above my kitchen. Okay, um, I don't feel like measuring where the middle is, so I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm just gonna go like this. Um, let's hope that's the middle and that that's straight. <laughs> I'm not gonna press it too hard. Um, that looks like the middle. That looks too high though. Um, donut here yet. Really? Falls in a bit of hair. Ah, oh, I lost the middle. I also like that you can tap it, so I don't always need the remote, but I'll definitely be using the remote because I'm not gonna jump up there to turn that on. Okay. Oh, I love it! This is exactly what I wanted. At nighttime, I like to shower and I don't wanna have to use this. So I like that there's one right, like, just concentrated over here. So I like this. This is nice. This is exactly what I wanted. Yay! Look how quick that DIY was, and it looked, took me six seconds, so. And I barely even pressed the adhesion to the wall. I'm gonna push that in a little more, actually. I just pulled my phone so hard off the charger. Yeah. Um, I have no idea how to fix this. Her ass is not a technician. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I'm scared. I'm just gonna try to put it back as, as gently as possible. Hopefully that's safe. I don't think there's any instructions, so this will be fun. Montage! making craft mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna like melt? You are literally on the stove. The water is boiling so slow. I'll be back when it's boiled. Hey, we got boiling water. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm reading the instructions because I feel like I don't trust that I know how to do this right anymore. Oh my gosh, the powder. Ew, that looks so gross. Let me take a sip. No, I'm kidding. I'll be back. And cook a little longer. Okay, now I'm gonna strain it. And I'll bring it back. And I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna follow the instructions just as they have them. Two sable two sable poons? Two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put that in the center. I never use that much butter. It just feels like a crazy number of butter, so I don't really like to get into her. I don't drink whole milk, so I have almond milk. Hopefully it's still good. They said three tablespoons. One, two, three. That was a lot. I'm gonna mix that in, get that butter to melt. And then our cheese packet. One day, someone just woke up and was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I don't like Kraft Mac and cheese. And everyone's gonna agree. And then everyone just fell in line and just no one had a thought for their self and just decided that that made sense and we're all just gonna go along with hating Kraft. Well, not me. I love Kraft mac and cheese. It is so good and delicious. And I'll never pretend that it's not. Are you crazy? I've been eating this since I was a kid. That is Kraft mac and cheese is like such a good artificial cheese. Like that's such a good cheese. That's such a good cheese. You don't even know. 
You don't even know. I'm gonna let that, you know. I let it get a little hot, so it can just be a little, can feel like it's a little thicker. I don't know, I don't think it actually thickens it, but I think it makes me feel like it's thicker. That is good. That is delicious. And I only have this big ass Tupperware to put it in because I still have not bought glass Tupperware. Let me put some in my little Zwaggy bowl, in my little Zwaggy bowl. That's gonna hit so good. It's gonna hit so good. Okay, let me, let me not overdo it. That's gonna be so good. Yummy. Bye. You know what I don't like about Next Level Chef? Whenever, whenever it's the elimination challenge, and everyone is in there watching everyone cook and they just yell at the person that's fighting to not be eliminated. Be quiet. Oh my gosh. The person will be trying to think and they'll be like, make sure you put some aioli on that. Be Unless you're being spoken to or someone's directly asking you a question. Let's shut the fuck up. There's a reason that the judges keep telling y'all to be quiet. Y'all distracting. Shut that mouth. I know that it's probably, I know. I know it's probably so hard as a chef yourself to watch someone like, do something that you deem is a mistake, but understand you're just stressing them out. Like they are stressed themselves and now someone is yelling instructions at them. Not only one, but it'd be like the whole team. It'd be like the whole team yelling at once. And if the team next to them is yelling at the, like, like shut that mouth. Look, he was so stressed. If he goes home, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, I've been crying all day <laughs> watching this fucking show. Guys, look at these headphones from my Air France trip that fell into my bag. They're so cute. <laughs> Sometimes driving is so silly because it's just like playing follow the leader. Like the car in front of me, we're just going the same direction. And we have for so long. Maybe that's like my cousin or something. Maybe like a brother. Also, these are the Uggs that TikTok gave us. Cool. No matter how hard the shoe is to take off, every time I'm going to force my foot out. I'm not, I'm not gonna unzip it. Well, I am this time because the shoe is really tight, but you see, it's possible. Ouch. Oh. It's possible. Whenever I wear a hoodie, I always wanna do this. Little bit of that. Here's my expired bananas. Um, ah! it was so mushy. Ah! Y'all, can y'all see that? That, that is disgusting. <laughs> I touched it. It legit scared the shit out of me. Let's throw that away. Oh my god. Okay, grocery haul. I got Hello Pandas. Because um, my teeth are literally falling out of my mouth, so I literally cannot have too much candy and chocolate. But that's the first thing I've gotten in a long time because I want it. I got the red pepper sauce. This is what, when I was making that cucumber salad, this is what was supposed to go in it that didn't. So now I actually have it. The tonkotsu ramen. I didn't know that they sold this at the store I went to. I wasn't even looking for it. I passed by and I said, give me that. I got some avocados. I literally wish Aldi was just one minute away from me. Jump scare from the bananas just now. I got bananas. And I got this pear. I think it said it was a Korean pear. I don't know why I bought so many bananas knowing I don't like bananas, but I saw a red banana. And I was like, what? I wanna try a red banana. Let's literally try it now. Well, let me look up if there's like a way to make it or something. And I got a library card. Let me wash my hands. I'm gonna try the red banana. What if it's pink inside? That'd be so cool. I don't know if I'm supposed, if they're supposed to look like that, but they look a little, a little beat up, but I'm sure it's fine. I don't know if I needed to wait or not, but. Okay. Ooh, I think I definitely should have waited, but it's too late now. <laughs> I'm gonna just rip it open with my fingers. Oh, it's just regular colored. I thought it was gonna be pink. It looks like a normal banana. Just looks like a normal banana. Okay.
I was gonna say it tasted regular, but then it started tasting different at the end. I don't know. I feel like I'm not enough of a banana connoisseur to like know the difference if there's a difference. It's giving standard banana. Yeah. That's cool. Come on. Okay, okay, ready? Your turn. You go first. We're we're in a battle. This is what they do in movies. They be like. Like, why do they do that? <laughs> Look at my ramen cabinet. So good, the unhealthy. I can just feel it seething through. Get a bowl. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all how to make some real oatmeal. This is how you make oatmeal for real. Very simple. Fruit and cream, strawberries and cream. This is the best. No, it's not. The best one is actually the peach. Then it's the blueberry. Then it's this one, and then the banana goes to your mom. You gonna settle down, you gonna leave with them. I forgot to buy oat milk. No. I forgot oat milk, but just some almond milk. Bloop. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Microwave that for like a minute. You gonna settle down, you gonna leave with them. I don't even wanna post a pig with them. Oh. This expired October of 2023, but I'm gonna use it. If you feel like your whip, if your whipped cream doesn't come out, watch this. Hey. Actually, you can go a little longer. Ow, 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 ow. If your whipped cream comes out like this, just run it under hot water. Run it under warm water, give it a little shake. Exactly. Oh, realize you couldn't see that? Yeah. I don't even want to put some pig with them. Just stir that up. That ain't your manny's bothers. See, and now it's cute and pink. Kind of. I love oatmeal. My little tea milk cup. I can't drink if there's still food in my mouth. I have to get it all swallowed first. So good. They look like this. They're little cookies. And then when you bite them, there's strawberry inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix or touch up your smile lines in your makeup from creasing and how to just fix the grease on your face with minimal effort. Firstly, you're just gonna need any like fluffy brush. You don't want a super dense brush that's gonna like make it hard because all we're doing is using this to flick the product away. See right here? Mm-hmm. Where your smile line is creasing, you're just gonna flick it away. Just flick it away. The product, what happens is the product just compiles itself in one spot. So you just wanna, you wanna stop it from congregating in that one spot and just spread it out. See, step one is done already. Now you're gonna take any compact. I really like using the one size compact. I like the Charlotte Tilbury and the one size, but I'm gonna use one size today just so I'm not using 80 products. Because what you actually don't wanna do is fill too much new product in your smile lines because it's just gonna crease again. So in time, this will crease, but it'll take longer. The puff, see there's your product, but you don't wanna put all this on your face. What I do, and then I do the same for anywhere that's like greasy. Mm, touching up my lips. Matt goes to reach. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty lip tint. Or lip blush, sorry. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit. Give my lips some color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then over that, I'm gonna put on the Tower 88 lip gloss. Mm, pretty much done. Then I got this setting spray in PR a while ago. So I'm just gonna dry it for the hell of it. It's a matte setting finish. And there's not really much else. Mmm, mm, it smells good. How rare for a setting spray. It doesn't smell like a marshmallow, but it does smell good. I believe it's the NYX Marshmallow Setting Spray. It's gonna be in the corner like this. This is what I had before. I'm gonna see if any of my friends want it or my mom or anyone, and I'll just give it away. These wooden utensils. Oh, some of them are still wet. They were in the dishwasher. Hopefully that's not a big seal that I put in here anyway.
Look how cute that is. I love it. I'm gonna do New Year's Eve makeup. I'm gonna stop till I give you my shot. That's who I am. That's my plan. Bet on it. 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 Look at how bad I've been tearing up my fingers. I have been so anxious and sad and stressed. My fingernails have been paying the the biggest price. And I'm still biting them. <laughs> that is a pretty finish. I'm gonna use the Milk Sculpt Stick and Blaze. You all right? You all right. Right underneath. Right underneath to cut the jawline. And then I'm gonna brush that in. You also wanna flick bronzer and contour up before you wanna bring it down because it's gonna fall naturally. That's what you're supposed to do, but I'll be lazy, but I'm gonna do my makeup correct today. And then this one I just pull in. I like when it goes <laughs> Instead of one size powder today, I'm using the Huda. Trying something new is the start of something new. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the Give Beauty Crush On You Blush Duo. Okay, got it. Still sucks. I that is pretty. Now I'm excited on the eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette because it has a lot of silver in it. Also taking the tiniest dollop of the ABH Eye Primer. That's good. I'm telling y'all, you don't need that much. Mm, my vlog camera is done. Just make sure you blend that out to a flat sheet and it will set itself. Mine does. Standing mm -hmm. in the fire next to you. Standing next to you. Dust off my satin powder. I think she's just sad right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let me put that back because no, you will not get black all over my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing, I think I'm gonna do a V shaped eye look. So I'm just bringing that down and creating a V shape. The V is gonna be here. See? Before I was using the Morphe M506 brush, but you can probably, I would honestly say you could probably use any brush that's like. Just very tight and tiny, like this. I'm gonna use one that's even smaller now. This is the Morphe E36, and I'm gonna use this for the black. Or the darker shades, I'm gonna use Renegade. I never knew the Renegade. I'm gonna gently bring it toward the center, but not, I'm not gonna exaggerate it. She looks messy now, but don't worry. I swatched, oh my gosh, it's in my lap. I swatched all of the shimmery shades, and I think I wanna use these two for the middle. Okay, I'm gonna dip into Maverick in the palette. I'm gonna drop that right in the center. The helicopter outside? That's that's also cute. That is so pretty. I usually don't like halo eyes. Halo eye looks are the type I have right now where the two sides, essentially there's, there's a halo effect where the center is the lighter shade and the darker shade is on the outside corners. This is a halo eye. I'm doing a halo, like a halo wing kind of, where it wings out. Sometimes people just kind of keep it centered. Um, but I, I don't really like to keep it centered. I like to do that. Let me close my window. I forgot I had this Beauty Creations black eye primer, so I'm gonna try putting this in the corners to make them a little darker. I'm gonna just focus it lower and on the outer side. Oh, okay. She's she's doing what I wanted. She is making it darker. Oh, be careful, Shallon. Oh my gosh. Look at me already fucking up, dude. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Well, it is just bigger. That was my fault. Being a little too loosey with the hand. It is a lot darker, so I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I sneeze like that while I had this black in my hand. Yar. I don't think I liked the way I did the placement, but it's okay. I cut myself off, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm liking it less and less. Also, I have kind of like shitty energy because I'm just sad. Uh, I'll be back when it's done. I finished the eye look, but I like hate it. <laughs> Something just doesn't eat. I don't know, man. I'm tired. I'm editing my TikTok makeup video, but... I'm just not happy. Why have I been tearing up? Look at my eye. Tearing up my nails. Yeah. Like it really is that bad. And I'm mad because I want to put on press-ons, but I don't want to do that when my nails look this bad. I'm about to stream, but I guess my controller's disconnected. So I'm trying to re-establish the connection
I wasn't feeling lazy, I would take these to the kitchen right now, put some butter on them, and a piece of cheese. But I'm not doing that. Where the where did you fall? I literally saw a crumb fall. This is not the place for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm about to stream. I'm nervous for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm scared. Sometimes y'all don't tell the truth. I gotta see for myself. I've been wanting to play. What's that game? 